The Dinner Party by Gloria Gozzi. Not your average housewife, eight deaths weigh on your mind like dumbbells dragging you to the floor. They wake you up abruptly in the middle of the night. They consume you in the early hours when there is nothing left to think about. When you feel hollow and desolate, it is your ghosts with their arms around you. You carry them like a sickness for the rest of your life. There is no escape. Not your average housewife. It starts as a competition, the mildest of them. Everything is a competition. Your wardrobe is a competition. Your marriage is a competition. Apple crumble is a competition. The most insignificant of them. Neighbour makes good desserts. Neighbour made good desserts. Her apple crumble was simply stunning. You would see it in the eyes of her guests, in their expressions and the silence as you all chewed. You muffled your own reaction, but the crumble tasted like pure joy. It was a spoonful of bliss. You tried to emulate it twice. The second time someone told you it tasted like neighbours, almost. She overheard. It was that smugness you saw in her face. Quietly boiling, you said you would try one more time. You would knock it out of the park. You followed the instructions to the tea, but this time you lace it with pills. Crushed into every corner and sprinkled on top, this would be one to die for. Which they did. Almost at the same time and quite dramatically. Neighbour too, but not before they told you it was simply sublime, like eating pure happiness. You tell yourself it was so good they died from the sheer ecstasy of it. That didn't hold in court.